You know, the pandemic has not only taken a toll on uh, families, uh, patients, but on healthcare workers too. We have a GBMC uh, nurse who wrote a blog about her 80 days working in a COVID unit. Jamie? Yeah, we call on Abby Isaacs to tell her story and about the words that she hopes all of us will learn from her experience. It's been months of exhaustion, stress, and grief for GBMC nurse Avery Wrigley, but she would do it all over again to help her patients. And she hopes her experiences push people to continue taking the pandemic seriously, even as things start to reopen. I think it still hasn't fully set in, even after all of this time. It's been 80 days since Avery Wrigley's unit became the COVID-19 floor at GBMC. It's been very, very busy and it's been very stressful. 80 days of constant scrubbing and sanitizing. Take the gloves off again, then wash our hands again, then put new gloves on and go into a room. Um, so it's a lot. 80 days of doing everything she can to help her patients during a crisis, being there when their families can't be. It's like, wow, this is what nursing can turn into. This is what we are, you know, we are their families. A journey that's given her new purpose as a nurse. I feel like we're really, really helping people and people are going to remember us for, you know, forever. One moment she'll remember forever when one of the unit's first COVID-19 patients was moved into hospice care. She was up and down between our unit and the ICU. Um, you know, she'd been upgraded multiple times and her family decided to make her hospice. And that day, she was her patient. The family had COVID too, so they couldn't come say their goodbyes. Wrigley FaceTimed them in. It just kind of hit me like, this is the last time that they're gonna see their mom and it's through a FaceTime screen. And I think that that's just, it's huge because I don't think that people realize the severity of it until it affects them directly. And that's what she hopes people understand by hearing her story. She says they continue to see more and more patients. And as things reopen, she hopes people are responsible, not just for their sake, but for others. I understand we can't keep things closed forever and that it's just super important not to not to forget what this has already done and what it can, you know, it still has the potential to do. She encourages people to continue social distancing, washing your hands frequently, and wearing a mask when indoors to help protect other people. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.